What's up, guys? Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel. So, oh. All right, let's start it over. What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So, today I'm going to go over a talking point that I really wanted to kind of discuss because we've been talking about it um, over here with my community um, during the live streams. And I think it's a really interesting topic considering how far that we have gotten into season two and how much fun we're actually having. You know, and before we get into this discussion, I mean, let me just first say that I'm having such a blast in season two. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having an absolute blast when it comes to season two in Diablo. And I'm very, very excited for a lot of things that are coming to the channel or to the game, I should say. So with that said, as you can see, we are doing a nightmare dungeon. And that is precisely what we are going to be talking about today is nightmare dungeons and it's this is just going to be a talking piece and then like why it's you know it's kind of <clears throat> essentially like extremely boring to do these and what is the purpose for actually doing them and what we can do or like some suggestions that would make um nightmare dungeons just even better for the game okay so with all that, we do have, uh, this is all in lieu of the wake of Xur, which is going to be coming here next month, which is going to be a new Pinnacle Endgame, which is essentially going to give us greater rifts, which we have multiple videos on if you guys want to check those out. But for the purposes of this video, what we're going to be talking about is Nightmare Dungeons, how they are as a whole, and like, what are some of the things that I don't like, what are some of the things that they could improve on, etc. So first off, let's get into the positives about dungeons or nightmare dungeons in their current state so nightmare dungeons are basically the pinnacle end game point that we can do now on top of the bosses which allows us to just run nightmare dungeons and have a a, a more challenging experience right which i think is really nice like having these challenges is really really good uh i can't find the levers so and you can go all the way up to tier 100, which is what you're seeing me do now to kind of really test your character. So I like the challenge there because the monster levels are 154. They're much stronger. They have more health. And when you're in a party, it's even harder, which gives you an even bigger challenge, which I think is just awesome, right? <clears throat> so what are some of the benefits of doing <clears throat> Nightmare Dungeons? One is you get, if you are leveling up, you get a really nice amount of XP because when you're fighting monsters 10 levels higher than you, then that's where the XP cap is uh, in the game. So anytime you're fighting monsters 10 levels higher than you, you're going to get a lot more EXP than you would normally is Glyph XP. This seems to be the main purpose of doing Nightmare Dungeons because you're going to level up your Glyphs. And when you level up your Glyphs, it's going to make your character stronger. These Glyphs are in here they level from 1 to 21 okay and as you can continue to level them they get stronger and stronger and stronger as an example here we have destruction it's at level 21 we have plus 194 percent which is the max that i can get for crit strike damage and then i get the bonus effect because i have over 25 dexterity so the glyph xp is really really nice because when you are playing when you level up the glyphs from 1 to 15 that's when you get the next bonus and 1 to 15 is a much bigger power jump than it is from 1 to or excuse me from 15 to 21 the 15 to 21 isn't that much of a power creep in comparison to 1 to 15 because the initial power boost is just way bigger however there's some issues for me when it comes to leveling glyphs okay and that comes with how the sigil system and nightmare dungeon system actually works i'm gonna die because of the poison uh, i had none of my cooldowns which really sucked. I shouldn't have exploded there. Um, so if you guys don't know what you do is you create a sigil or you find a sigil. And when you're going to do a dungeon, dungeons are on rotation. So even though there's a hundred and what, 15 dungeons or 130 dungeons, however many it is, there's only about 25 dungeons on rotation as we're going through that can actually be a nightmare dungeon. Even though all of them can be nightmare dungeons, they do a rotation of 25 nightmare dungeons. So that way we can just have a variety of dungeons to do. When you do craft these, these are completely random and all the affixes are also completely randomly rolled. So there's a few things with that that we're going to talk about here shortly, but I really would like if the crafting system would allow us to craft normal sigils 
like craft sigils for specific dungeons instead of it being random. Now, I know that they don't want us to continuously run the same one. However, if you kind of gatekeep it behind a like a crafting, like you have to craft it and use the sigil dust, then I think that would be fine, right? I can just craft like this one, old stones over and over and over again because I like the dungeon, I like the layout, the XP is good, you know, etc. right? And it would just use my sigil dust to be able to keep crafting those over and over again as opposed to those being random. So I think that's I think that's one change that they could make to really make the dungeons or nightmare dungeons really really nice and more rewarding when you play. Now you saw that we got the gear here. That's another big bonus when it comes to the gear um, for doing nightmare dungeons because you're guaranteed four pieces of gear. All of gear is completely random, right? So these are the four pieces of gear, and all of it is completely random. You can even get uniques, which is really really nice. Um, however, the gear is very lackluster, and you can see here that I'm still even getting um, sacred gear in World Tier 4, which I've made a whole video about in an issue about gear and itemization in the game. Uh, they stated that this season that we weren't even supposed to get sacred um, items in World Tier 4. Like, these two items should just be ancient, um, or ancestral, excuse me, and they're not. So it really makes itemization for gear running Nightmare Dungeons effectively useless. Um, and every once in a while you get the off chance that you actually get something good after the lackluster gear that is in these dungeons then we have glyph xp which is back to our original point here so glyph xp this is probably the biggest issue and this is the main reason that you do nightmare dungeons right so each time you do a dungeon you're going to get xp which is what you can see here to level up your glyphs the max level for glyphs is 21. Now, if you guys want to know the math, which we have done extensively, is if you level up a glyph from 1 to 21, it takes 3,006 experience. So, at Nightmare Dungeon 100, the max XP you get is 206 uh, to go towards your glyph. That effectively makes it 14.5 runs that you have to do. So, effectively, 15 runs in order to max out one glyph. So, for context, here's the issue and one of the biggest reasons why I think running Nightmare Dungeons is very boring and just serves no purpose. So, it takes 15 runs to max out a glyph doing Nightmare Dungeon 100, which is the pinnacle and the highest level that you can do currently in the game. If I do 72s, Nightmare Dungeon 72s, it will take me two more runs to max out a glyph than it does at level 100. So, effectively... There's 28 tiers of Nightmare Dungeons in that gap. And I only have to run it two more times. If I do 72s as opposed to 100s. Two more times. So when it comes to the glyphs, if I can do 28 levels less to speed through these, I only have to do two more. And if you're only doing objectives to just finish the dungeon because the entire objective is to level up your glyphs, then it's... It's in your better interest to do 72s or like 75s and just do two more, which will take you a few minutes less than doing a hundred because you only have to do two more to max out a glyph. Now we're gonna level this up and it's nice, don't get me wrong, the 206 is nice to see and 206 from one uh, level 100 Nightmare Dungeon on a brand new one takes it from one to eight roughly. But these glyphs, you know, leveling these up are really fun to make your character a lot stronger but if that's the only purpose that the Nightmare Dungeon serves, then once you're done with these, you effectively don't need to do them again, which is fine because in the new update, Blizzard has focused, the devs over at Blizzard have focused a lot of things on the open world, which I really do like. However, there needs to be a lot more purpose for Nightmare Dungeons. Um, and I think we were kind of like cloak and daggered about this with the itemization for item drops. Um, and as well as just like a, a challenge, you can see that like besides the little corpse exploding like nightmare dungeon 100s on most builds after you get them online really just aren't very hard they're not like too difficult and maybe that might not be the angle to go about it of the nightmare dungeons being a particular challenge although we keep climbing and they're supposed to be a challenge but there needs to be another purpose for the nightmare dungeons and i don't know if we've talked about this in previous videos or not but as an example, like in Path of Exile, when you're doing maps, there is a 
purpose of doing maps to get your atlas tree figured out so that way when you're doing the atlas there's the tree and you're getting things filled in there's a bigger bonus when you're doing maps would effectively be nightmare dungeons and the same thing in like um last epoch with the echoes and you're building out the echo tree when you're doing uh the big bosses there and you can make the corruption higher higher and higher right and which gives you a lot better gear etc so there needs to be something here that really makes giving nightmare dungeons more of a purpose besides just leveling these because in most people's cases they're not going to level these past 15 because you know doing them over and over and over again for very lackluster xp is just going to make doing them extremely boring like you get you do this do these for an hour or a half hour and you're just bored out of your mind and you're ready to just go do something else because there's no other purpose for nightmare dungeons besides just leveling up a glyph um again the the gear is lackluster and you know at best and the challenge really isn't there not that there needs to be a specific challenge but it does need to be a little bit harder as you continue to climb which is fine it feels like the equivalent of doing like a greater rift 150 um you know to a to a degree but there needs to be more of a purpose now i don't want to bash nightmare dungeons completely because i do think there's some very good bonuses like i said previously in the video i think there's some great things that you can do with the gold that's great mats you collecting mats is really really nice when you're doing nightmare dungeons 100 you're just picking them up and it's just easy you collect a bunch you know power leveling characters or like rushing people through is a really good form of exp so i think that part is good but everything else is just really lackluster and i would like to have more of a purpose when i do these um, because again once you like get like one build online and you're not doing multiple builds like i am so you need a lot more glyphs leveled up but if you were doing just one like once you got all of your glyphs to 21 you're just done you know you're just done you're you, you don't have to do it anymore you're over i'd never have to touch nightmare dungeon again so there needs to be more of a purpose when we're talking about our end game so guys i wanted to make this video just to kind of have a kind of spark another conversation because i really enjoyed our last few videos when we talk about certain um topics in the game to really improve the game and maybe hopefully blizzard see this sees this you know um even though i'm like a mid you know a small creator it's still nice to have blizzard and the dev seed feedback from not only myself and other creators but you guys the community you know all of the players which is the most important thing so let me know what you guys think what's your take on nightmare dungeons what are some suggestions down in the comments that you guys can make to kind of help improve nightmare dungeons as a whole and just make the experience even better now one last point i do want to make is I said it earlier is that this is all in lieu of the new pinnacle boss Zer, which is effectively going to be greater rifts which we can keep going higher higher and higher um and if that is the case and that new system with the pinnacle boss is going to be a way to take us above nightmare dungeon 100 and then not only that but give us a lot more exp for these glyphs which in turn would make us be able to level them faster that might be a good idea but i think the exp needs to be re reworked just from 1 to 100 um because again 15 runs to max this out when i can do 28 levels lower and just speed through it instantly and just do two more is actually faster than just doing 100s so but this is all in lieu of this so maybe the big change with the new event coming next month with zer will help bring in a new pinnacle boss in, in a greater rift system and then give some really good changes from the devs to nightmare dungeons as a whole but guys like the video comment down below give me all your thoughts on this stuff so we can get the conversation going don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace